What's going on YouTube? GeoSnow right here today with massive news for those of you waiting for iOS 11.2 up to iOS 11.2.6 jailbreak. A new kernel vulnerability has been publicly disclosed today by a security researcher and he published a write-up for it which is definitely very important for the jailbreak community. Also, the iOS 11.2.6 is no longer signed. Apple closed today the signing window. I'm going to discuss about that in a moment. If you remember, just a couple Couple hours ago I posted a video about a new zero day vulnerability in the iOS 11.3 that means Spark Zen has actually um, detected that is still available in the 11.3 and hasn't been closed and this one has been actually present since iOS 11.2.x. So today a new vulnerability has been disclosed and it's this one in here posted by Brandon Azad. He says quote who put the kernel pointer in my crash log. Now if you understand a little bit of iOS you probably will understand the fact that this is a pretty funny vulnerability. If you take a look here at the crash log, in fact, let me actually open it, you can see that there are your typical registers in here. Now, the CPU has this typical register and they are called general purpose registers. There are also some special registers like the PC in here, which is the program counter, the SP, which is the stack pointer and so on. But you have those X0, X1, X4, X5 and so on, which are general purpose. Now in one of this in here, which is the actual X80, now let me actually find it, the X80 in here, you can see that there is something unusual. There is an actual kernel pointer in there. The address begins with seven Fs and a zero, which is a telltale sign of a kernel pointer, which is something normally you don't see in a register. Now, if you go back in here on the write-up, you can understand why is this such a big thing. And he goes ahead and explains everything in here about how this vulnerability can be triggered and how you can actually use it. And it's pretty darn simple. You just have to read the um, register x80 in Xcode and it would do. I mean, it's, it's that simple to trigger. And why is this even important? Well, this is important since using this one, you can actually leak the kernel pointer and using that kernel pointer, you can calculate the uh, kernel slide and therefore bypass the KASLR. What is KASLR, you would probably ask me? Well, on modern iOS, and that is past iOS 6, and on any modern operating system, being that for mobile or for the computer, you have something called ASLR and KASLR. Now, ASLR stands for Address Space Layout Randomization, and the KASLR stands for Kernel Address Space Layout Randomization. And what this does is to pretty much put the kernel at a different address every time the uh, device powers on and this way the attacker has no idea where the kernel can be because it can literally slide from a portion of memory to another at every boot and you won't be able to tell where it is in the memory and therefore you won't be able to pawn it. Now in order to bypass the uh, KSLR which is something very important in the jailbreak community you will pretty much need an info leak and Therefore, you pretty much need a kernel pointer so that you can calculate the kernel slide. And that's exactly what this vulnerability does in here. And this is why it's very important. Now, the write-up itself in here is definitely very great. It's pretty well made. It's very detailed. And you can definitely understand quite a lot in here. But what about the vulnerability in here? This kernel vulnerability has been introduced in iOS 11.2 when Apple tried to mitigate the meltdown exploit. And it has been closed in iOS 11.3. So this one is a very Available for the entire iOS 11.2.x range and it can definitely be used of course combined with other stuff for a jailbreak and this is why this is massive news because this is the first released vulnerability for the kernel of the iOS 11.2, 11.2.1, 11.2.2, 11.2.5 .2 and 11.2.6 so definitely massive news if you're waiting for a jailbreak on iOS 11.2.x do not update things are starting to piece together as you can see here and the developers can start working soon on this stuff. Now speaking about the iOS 11.2.6 it's no longer signed. Apple stopped signing the iOS 11.2.6 today in here leaving only the iOS 11.3 as the signed version. Now you can see here that since iOS 11.2.6 is no longer signed upgrading from an older version with SHSH2 blobs is no longer possible and that's because the iOS 11.3 SEP and the basement are not compatible 
level with 11.1.2 for example. So it's unfortunate but you can no longer do that procedure. Now anyways if you are waiting on iOS 11.2.6 or lower do not do the mistake to update to 11.3. Although there are some zero days available for it it's nothing public yet so your best bet is still iOS 11.2.6 or lower. So yeah this is pretty much massive news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak. This is the first kernel vulnerability that has been made public with a uh, full write-up in here and it's a pretty hefty one. A KSLR defeat is definitely something to look for in the jailbreak community so definitely powerful. Yeah that's pretty much it guys thank you for watching do not forget to subscribe to stay updated if you're not subscribed already and I'm going to keep you updated with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community. Thank you for watching and till next time I'm GS Now. Peace out.